Well, this is a disappointing mess. Let's cover it. So a little bit of context. You remember Call of Duty 98? He was one of my collab partners in my god awful tribe of Sonic Force. So he recently made a commentary on Kanye Muller, who I've talked about twice on my channel now, who actually recently made a video on me. To put it lightly, the video sucked, gaining my title most disappointing commentary to come out this year. Or at least it had gained that title. Yeah, Pink decided to cover that video, and surprise, surprise, it wasn't that good either. Now because of that, I'll be hitting both videos at once. Now since there are multiple degrees here, referring the clown using Hyda, and referring the pink robot using Nick. Now let's get this party started. Have you ever been so disappointed in two people for merely looking over a script before? Today I'll be looking at a user by the name of ClownDude98. He did a video on Kongi Muller, someone I covered in my first commentary since I decided that I was done trolling, in particular, the video in question is Kong's video talking about how often Jonah Smith, another user I've talked about in the past, have talked about and covered him. The video is short, so I figured I could get this out of the way fairly quickly. Oh, is that why you missed so much in this video? Oh well, even more for me then. So let us begin. Okay, so here's some context. This is Kanye Muller. He makes talk show style stuff. He talked about a commentator by the name of Jonah Smith who talked about him for several times. First off, Clown. Who talked about him for several times. By several you mean two? Putting that out a definition of several means more than two, but not many, thereby making your wording extremely poor. Who talked about him for several times. For several times. Please learn how to actually English. And I'll be commentating on Kung's video today. Direct from the YouTube dojo, this is me, Kung, the really Mueller, and now, a man who Jonas Smith is afraid of, Ellie Kung Mueller. Okay, dude, you're as scary as Darkseid fell. For the wrong reasons. The room that you recorded this in looks like a fucking dumpster. Also, you're a mumbler. Please don't mumble, it makes it hard for people to understand what you're saying. If it's a speech impediment, either please make closed captions available like Nightmare Kagamine does, or do what Shadvik does and have subtitles. You know, I had one major issue for Clown said. The surprisingly robot didn't catch, and honestly robot, this is really upsetting because this point was literally right up in your face for grabbing. So, uh, Clown, you mentioned both Kagamine and Joshua Kobe have? Well, yeah, I personally do agree that it would be nice if Kung did add subtitles. You don't show any clips in the two videos to show that they actually do what you say, nor do you link their channels in the description, which makes it extremely hard to take anything you say at face value. It makes it even worse is bringing up Joshua. Oh, well, no, bringing up Joshua isn't inherently the issue. My issue is one of you addressing by the name of Shadvik. And just Shadvik. You know that everybody's gonna know that Joshua is Shadvik, right? Like, I looked up Shadvik on YouTube. No link to his channel. Seriously, this goes to all commentators. If you're going to listen to the commentator as an example of how to do something right, please, actually link them or at least one of their videos so you don't come across as desperate for a point. Doesn't this just get fun within the first minute? First, from what I gathered watching Kong's other videos, this is not his room, so he may not have too much control over how clean it looks, but this is a small issue in comparison to the unfortunate setup of hypocrisy that happens just after this complaint. Oh boy, here we go. You say he should add subtitles to his videos because otherwise it's hard for people to understand what he's saying, but in a bit, we'll see that Clown Dude doesn't exactly practice what he preaches. Welcome to Week Nothing. I am Ellie Kong Mueller. What is happening, my little grasshoppers? Verdori, Diet Zer Airstorm Huit, Hetis All for Hin Pardi Up in Schlech Ninja Film Bejaicht. And my last interjection becomes relevant now, so your point of Kong adding subtitles is so his audience can understand him over his mumbling. But I would imagine given that you're speaking English primarily throughout this commentary, that your audience is primarily that of English-speaking origin, no? Yet, you don't add subtitles to this interjection where you are quite clearly speaking another language. I'm not saying one would have to do that, especially when it's used in the context of a joke. But if you're going to get on Kong's case for not being understandable, and then follow that by speaking a language your audience wouldn't understand, that to me, comes off as rather hypocritical. This point irks me. Like, you're not exactly wrong, it is rather giant was speaking another language, but this isn't really a case of hypocrisy. I mean, Clown was getting on Kung's case specifically for being mumbling, which, by the way, you don't actually debunk, but Clown's issue was more so speaking another language, and honestly, I can't help but see this point as a non-issue. At worst, this was a throwaway line that wasn't really needed, and you yourself in this interjection admitted it was a joke, 
Given that Pelkosy doesn't make Clown wrong, as well as this not being an inherently large issue, I question why this is really a point at all. Now, this profile picture is a fox. Wow. Is he a Disney fan? Now, this thing he has 290 subs. Who cares? I mean, Terry's only deliver drama. And apparently drama equals a lot of stuff. Now it's so he's a Disney fan. First of all, ignoring the fact that his fox avatar was taught from the Fox and the Hound, a film that Disney made, you don't show this fox avatar so people can easily say that you're spouting lies. Wait, I'm confused. I'm just going to check this out the poor wording, but I really don't understand the first part. You mentioned the title is from Fox and the Hound, which is a film that Disney made, and you know that considering the fact that Kung mentioned the possibility of me being a Disney fan right after saying my profile picture is a fox, this is a high possibility that he himself already knew this. I say this because all Kung's mention is that, well, it's a fox, and I don't think foxes by themselves are instantly aligned with Disney, despite how we've had movies like Zootopia and Robin Hood. Also, how does him being a Disney fan impact anything here? You don't explain how this is an issue or why this affects anything. Another thing is that you could have easily shown this fox avatar because Kung, I can tell you have editing software because of your massive jump cuts. So again, why not show it? It would have made this argument much more credible. Okay, I can flat out admit this here. That's a good point. But Christ alive, there's one big issue that I'm surprised Pink herself didn't call out. My profile isn't a fox. My profile is a wolf, for now at least. This point's more directed at Kung, but seriously, Kung? Somebody's supposed to be talking about my YouTube channel instead of what my Twitter was at the time. This is blatantly wrong. And Clown, the fact that you go along with this, not pointing out the obvious flaws in Kung's statement annoys me to no end. Now, Pink. Are you going to point out any of this? Clown dude, this was joke. It was bad joke, but it was joke. Wow, do you just want to continue disappointing me here, Pink? What here in this video? What it all indicates that this was a joke on Kung's part. There was no change in tone in Kung's voice. Kung has been shown to point out relevant details about the targets he commentates on before, such as the profile pictures of legit issues, as demonstrated here. I have... Up eight reasons why digital I need a lot of them. Number four, this profile picture is a guy who pretty much has no life. You literally have given me no reason to believe it was a joke besides your own word, and your own word is not enough to make you look at all in the right. And most of you in the left, and anybody make the political joke about that dies. I have a question for all you folks. All right, if someone gives you extremely negative criticism. Alright? And that person is Joel Smith. And that person is trying very, very hard to get Killer the King so that he can make fun of you again? And would you listen to that person? That goes far as down below. Okay, no, Kung. Get your head out of your fucking world star hip hop attention whore jump cutting Kushan for one motherfucking second! That was a fucking joke, you fucking scrub! Oh, um, sorry, did I leave this here? Sorry, thought I was covering the wrong video. He's not giving you criticism to make fun of you, he's giving you criticism to help you improve your extremely shitty content that's not worth a fucking nickel. But clearly, you're so up your own fucking Kushad that you think he's trying to fucking make fun of you. The point of criticism, especially constructive criticism, which is the thing that Joan is giving you, is to help you better yourself and improve your content, especially since your content badly fucking needs it. So yes, Kung, you should listen if you want quality videos that can bring in an audience. You know, I think I can easily say this is by far the worst commentary I've seen on Kung period. And considering both Evil Necrosphere and Lucas C's commentary that exists, that's saying something. You know, there's a reason why I decided to play that clip from YouTube Dude's video in particular a few seconds ago. Case in point, the fact that this commentary is probably the most spite I've seen in a commentary this year. And it's clear that this was emotionally fueled. As funny, your name is Clown Dude. Because Clown is also your fucking immaturity quite well here, you downright yell at a person, and for nothing too. At was from your perspective, all you did was assume my intent for criticizing him, which is flawed in itself. You treat Kung as if he took your dog, got a crowbar, and started beating her over the head repeatedly. Your letter like this isn't going to make Kung want to listen to you. At most, he's either gonna feel put down, here's the last thing we commentators want to accomplish, or be off put by your unpleasant attitude. But no, 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 my issues just don't end there. Let's look back at one of the other things you said in this little rant of yours. So yes, Kung, you should listen if you want quality videos that can bring in an audience. This quote is honestly rather ironic as it can take it as you mean critique in general. 
In which case, that argument actually sucks, as there is something known as destructive criticism. Which is, criticism that could make the one being critiqued actually get worse, or in your case, endlessly putting them to target. Now I'll be putting back Clown's original video here, because Pink doesn't hit the final thoughts, so... All in all, I'm ending it here since he just rambles afterwards. Final thoughts. Awful and stupid are words that describe this video in a nutshell. Like, you have audio bleed? Well, more so is Kung just not cutting at the background noise rather than audio bleed, but details. Crappy points and crappy ad hominems that plague this video. Hmm. Hey, can I order a side of blatant lies with that side of fries, please? No? Okay. Hey, clown. Please actually stop talking. This is just factually incorrect. Kung may have assumed my intent. He may have gotten some facts wrong in this video, but nowhere. Nowhere, at least from the footage that you provided in your commentary, do you make any ad hominems against me. Especially when you didn't make any personal jabs or insults towards me. Honestly, this is what happens when you start to use them fancy buzzwords that them cool kids use, despite not knowing what they actually mean. Anyways, cutting back to Robot. That's about the end of Clown Dude's video. He just restates points I've covered before. This is more poor wording. As by saying you stated points you made before can come off as you saying that you made actual points afterwards. When, no, all you did was go on to the final thoughts. Unless you were trying to say that the points that Kong made in his final thoughts were the same things you criticized in your own video on Kong. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell through the way you worded this. Anyway, I'm ending this video here, and I'm keeping this short and sweet. Oh, clown, this is my new least favorite commentary of 2018 period. You are my perfect example of what happens when the bandwagon effect gets too big. Commentary see an easy target has been covered multiple times, he didn't miss no challenge, and because of that, decided to not even try with the points. You, however, also came off as the biggest jerk I've seen in quite a long while. This commentary felt nothing more than an excuse to put down Kong because he made a few bad videos of people in the CC, and as such, you had to put him in his place. I mean, this in the nicest way possible. Trick off. Pink, you're obviously a lesser of two evils here. I think I barely covered you compared to Clown. But you weren't exactly the best either. Letting rather easy points slip a grasp, as well as making some rather mediocre, outright poor points. Honestly, I don't know what happened. I actually liked your commentary on Mr. A, but it feels like ever since the Doodle video has been the significant decrease in quality of your commentaries. Maybe take more time to work on him? I don't know what to say here exactly. Just break out of this about you've been in recently. Anyway, this is Jonah Smith saying, Watch out. I bite.